get this. I did not hit that. I don't know why it's showing up. No, not tangent. God damn it. Yes. Uh, window of protect source. No, don't destroy it, please. OBS. Okay, so now I got it here. Put that there. Put that there. Now Chu can see it in Discord. They want to look it through Discord. And Chu was for some reason bigger than almost bigger than me, so like they increase the size. This is not a uh, Ch uh, Chowo stream. It's my stream. Anyways. <laughs> be lazy instead of walking there let's fly here <laughs> I suddenly create violence deal with it So now we need to change mass. Forgot where it was. I think it's in here. Or not? Oh, I passed them. Now fire. Doing that because the next one we're challenging is the steel uh, bitch, and obviously fire beats steel. Is there anywhere near here that I can fly to? No. You fucking moron! Who never. <laughs> Never place the flying area. That's great. Oh, I can totally see an area that that I could have fly to too. God damn it! Just stop being a dumbass and not finding these places. You? No, I have not. No, god damn it, I hit the wrong goddamn button. I'm just gonna love a berry. That was annoying. Oh, pop, pop, pop around here. No? Great. What the fucking horse is he doing on the ground? This is. I can cry mountains. Oh, I found another one.
And I see through the map. <laughs> Scraggy, the shedding Pokemon. It'll abruptly headbutt anyone that makes eye contact with it. Its skull is extremely hard. Is that a control work? Do I have one? Have you? I do not have you for some reason. I thought I did, but I guess not. So I have not explored the mountain area. That's good to know. Oh yeah, I mean we just explored the caves, not on top of the mountains. Well, that's my dumbass fault. I'm gonna chance it with a torch song. Don't kill him. Fuck. Automaton Pokemon. Its movements are powered by a mysterious energy. It has continued to move since ancient times, so its power may soon run out. It's filled. Its energy is filled from the souls of dead people. gonna do this. You can't hurt Grand Inferno, but Grand Inferno will kill it. Oh wait, I have an idea. Oh hey Hatchet. How are you? Now you're both Chew and Hatched are teeny tiny on my stream. Let me fix that. You are my height in real life. <laughs> Golurk, an automaton Pokemon. Golurk was were created by ancient people to protect both people and Pokemon. They run on a mysterious energy. Hatchet, I may have not messed with Momo, and Chu may get messages from Momo. Okay. Scrafty, the hoodlum Pokemon. This Pokemon may be rude, but it takes very good care of its family, its friends, and its turf. I already did minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sorry, Chew. He, he never answered when I asked what was up. Oh. You'll, you'll find out when he answers. Please 
this weird has spikes. Oh, what the fuck? What are you doing here? Added Cleavor. Fuck. Even more fuck. Don't worry, I got an idea. <laughs> Just cheese the system. Just leaving, come back, and keep using quick balls. Press again. Fuck. <laughs> when I heard it, when I showed up in sanity. Yes, this will work. It will work. more like this. <laughs> I'm determined. <laughs> the charm, I guess. <laughs> See, it worked. <laughs> it worked. Cleavor, the axe Pokemon. This Pokemon is a rough, crude, and violent sort. It swings around its large, heavy stone axes to finish off its prey. either. Right, after this, I'm actually going to go to to the Leap 4, bitch. Fuck. Doing this all over again.
I believe in the power of quick balls. Yeah! Second time's the charm. My power of quick balls worked. It's like a drill, a subterranean Pokemon. Its drill, which it has evolved into steel, is strong enough to bore through iron plates. This Pokemon is a great help in tunnel construction. Need one, but cool. I'm gonna check that out later. Cause this is definitely an area I've not explored yet that I need to explore. trial just yet I need to heal my Pokemon welcome to the Kenyan Plaza what a team that sports Amarius of the Elite Four. And you're in Rack, right? One of the BB League challenges? Yes. I, I hear to beat the living shit out of our Pokemon. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna pay. Because this is America and capitalism. <laughs> now shut the fuck up and let me de defeat your bitch of the Elite Four later. And bread. Yes. As you see, I'm present and ready for your trial. Change of a location is required. Um. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Decision to allow you to take on the league was irregular. An exception among exceptions. I was against it, as you know, but the academy allowed it, and their ruling is absolute. Therefore, I'll carry out my duty as a member of the Elite Four as flawlessly as I always do. The trial I devise starts right here. I call my challenge the Flying Time Trial. Wait, what? You'll need to fly around the skies of the Torian while riding a Pokemon. Reach the goal with the prescribed time and you will pass the trial. Fly through the Magnemite Rings and extra time will be added to the countdown. I recommend you go through as many rings as possible as you fly toward the goal. Can you verify that? That you are ready and willing to take all my flying time trial. Alrighty, this is really fucking weird. Understood. I assume you have a Pokemon to ride on. Please bring it out of its ball. Right on! Good. With some efforts, this Pokemon should be capable of flight. <laughs> Your name is Agaius. Yes, this is for you to eat. Power. Okay. What you are, guys, just consume as a supplement that enhances a Pokemon's flight capabilities. I wonder what happens if you give that to a human. Prepared it using the leaves of a mysterious plant that was found growing in a terrarium. 
Your Aegeus will be able to soar through the skies as it pleases, but only the duration of the trial. Yeah, I just gotta go through that. You have all the need to begin the challenge. I wish you luck. The only thing I hope is that there's no fucking glitches. Or if it's not hard, too hard to fly. That's the main thing. Oh my god. That's a lot of Magnemite rings. I'm gonna fail the first attempt. Okay, gonna... I can't move! I can't move! Oh wow, the controls are actually really well. Okay. Way difficult than I thought. It's almost in. It's pretty much inverse controls. Oh god. Oh god. I'm fucked. Oh what? Did I win? Did I actually do the a lot of time? Superman 64. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> oh my god, the controls were inverse. I hate inverse controls. Get good and hurt. Hey, I passed. That's all that matters. That was an impressive display of functionality. Let's admit, it was satisfying to watch you fly. Folks, you're laughing your ass off watching me fly and fail to attempt most of the Magnemite rings. Congratulations, you have cleared my elite trial. Now, to a change of position is required once again. Tom. You've earned the right to face me in battle. Do you wish to begin? Yep, I'm about to whoop your ass. Understood. Let's assume our battle positions. Position assumed. There's one thing I wanted to ask you. Concerns Kieran. What is he to you, Aaron Bright? He's my pal, he's my rival, I don't know. I'll just say pal. <laughs> so you consider him a friend. I see. For my part, Kieran is the younger brother of my dear friend Carmine. Something in him has changed. He is not his usual self. I find this deeply concerning. If possible, I want to be the one to help him. That being the case, I cannot afford to lose. Our battle starts now. You look, take your watch twice. I guess they had to be super sure. Get ready, Skarmory, you two, Doug Trio. To finish this battle right on schedule. This is gonna be an easy fight. Or maybe not. Oh, that did damage. Okay. 
variable type matchup. Caught me off guard, now my glasses have fogged up. Oh, fucking sturdy! Oh no, it's Focus Sash. Fuck you, the goddamn Focus Sash. Oh, and fuck you with the stupid fucking Stealth Rock. I guess, I don't know. Uh, so, Ogre Pond may die. Very beginning. Yep. That didn't take long. Oh, cute Doug Trio. So, bad luck can also play in all battles. That is good to know. Thank you. Fuck off. Yeah, I forgot. And those flamethrower. Oh, dear God. This is not good. Put in a text in. Nope. There goes Grand Inferno. God damn it. We're throwing out the chonk. It's a super effective. But two of the... Oh, oh it must be in Polion. Thank you, Chonk. You, d you did good. Oh, praise the Chonk. And would have been fucked if the Chonk wasn't around. Oh, praise the Chonk. Let's make the chunk stronger. This is for us for beating the shav and fully on. Go the chunk. Oh shit. Oh yes, the chunk tank the hit. Oh shit. Well that was worthless. <laughs>
Earthquake. So it must be Metagross's weak Earthquake, okay? Which means I can do Flamethrower to Skizzler. Rip him. Let's try right, this battle on. Yeah, fuck you. You're gonna lose, bitch. Yeah, I did not realize their Pokemon levels were at level 80. That's good to know. Yes! The chunk went first! Good job, chunk. And and avoided the hit. Oh! Chunk! No! No! Doesn't matter. As long as the chunk goes first again, I win. No! Oh! The chunk topped it out! The chunk! The chunk! Yes! This is why you fear the power of the chunk. Don't you ever doubt the power of the chunk? So I should probably challenge some dens so I can get rare candies to level up my Pokemon. The strengths of one's Pokemon reflects the strength of one's beliefs. Your desire to help Karen is infinitely greater than my own. You are... How frustrating. Alright then. Time for a photo. I must ensure that your victory here is properly commemorated. You're not gonna smile, are you? Nope. I'll give you this TM too. It contains a favorite move of mine. Hard press. <laughs> Hard press. <laughs> it's up to you to help Kieran, Aaron Bright. I entrust my wish to you. Time for me to go. I see Bright moment. Time to go. That should, should smile more. Can <laughs> some brain again? God damn it, you. Shut up. So long. I should cancel Bright Party. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Champion to Megan. That's three of the lead four you've found snap. Seeing how far you're getting is, mark is making me sweat a little. Myra sure leaves an impression, huh? It's wild seeing her and Carmine talk. You'd never guess it, but they click in a weird way. It's pretty funny to watch. The thing about Myra is as real as she looks. She's got a sensitive streak a mile wide. Remember that about her, okay? Even if it's hard to tell from the outside. You know, but seeing skills like yours up close and personal really leaves an impression. No wonder it had such an effect on Kieran. But enough about that. I guess your elite fourth match is gonna be against me. Nice of you to say the best for last. Give me plenty of time to get ready. See you soon. Show us what you got.
Okay, so let's go heal my Pokemon. Oh, there it is. I'm blind. Kimpy, knuckle slacker, and lazy student. A villain voice. I don't, that makes no sense. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it is <it's> dumb. <laughs> No, I do not have. I can't have him have earthquake. I don't know why I didn't do that. Well, good news is I have earthquake now. Only for us near the bottom. Oh wait, I just saw it. All right, it's Stone Edge. There we go. That's earthquake. Pokemon to Lemon Challenge alone. I believe in the power of Lemon as well as the Chonk. You cannot win a battle without a Lemon or the Chonk. <laughs> Lemon just one shot at it. Lemon one shot it. Damn. <laughs> that wasn't much of a fight. and Dioga raids are still going on. Because Pokio is... As long as you get good helpers. They were easy to fight. Let's... Go ahead and... And finish you off. Oh, it... They didn't finish off. Okay. Let's see, where's the next one? Next one's over here. Yeah, because not having my Pokemon the same level as theirs fucked me up. Which means, oh fuck, here is a Pokemon is probably going to be a level 100. Jeez. Okay, so this DLC is a bit harder than the previous one. Again, let's have Lemon out. Wait, I 
Actually, I don't, I don't think I got this one. I think this is one of the ones I need. Well, damn, I'm going to take it then. No oh, shit, it is literally designed to be played after the previous. Yeah. Fire food. Oh my gosh, it actually looks like the light bulb is attached. It looks like the light bulb is attached to the plant. <laughs> And just one shot. Oh, not one shot this time. Oh, fuck you, the goddamn shield. And I win. Lemon is too strong to lose to a plant. I'm gonna put it in the love ball, that way Lemon can fuck it later. Oh my gosh, I don't want the look on my face when I held that ball after I said that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why did the face match up with why? <laughs> I don't like that it matched up with what I said. Bloom, the flower Pokemon. Its fiendish leak scatters allergenic po pollen from its petals, which are the largest in the world. Wow, so it's actually just ca causing people to die from allergies. Fuck you. Stay in the box, you bitch. this time. Let's see, does the chunk get the level 100? No. <laughs> Fine, I just got to train for the last one. I mean, Eris is already at level 100, so I don't need to train for that. So what, what are you? No, I'm not doing that. It's three star. I'm not going to get good shit from that. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to the Poke Portal.
Oh, what the fuck? I did not want to see whatever the hell that was. Thank goodness, cut off. I was able to exit out for it revealed things. Okay, so Diaga's still going. Let's see. Is there any good ones? Ooh. I could take this one. Because yeah, it's electric and. And, uh. Yeah, it should be able to be beaten pretty easily by Lemon. That. I'm all ready to go. What the fuck is that blue thing down there? What the fuck does Ciron have? Darny, choose a fucking Pokemon. Darny, for the love of fuck, choose a Pokemon. Oh my god. I'm assuming it's one of the new Pokemon. Interesting. I wish I hadn't seen it. Doing good so far. Now let me... Can I choose a move? Can I please for more fuck choose a move? I can't do shit. Thank you. Oh, that did... Okay, someone did super amount, high amounts of damage. Oh great, now we're gonna have to shield. Come on. Oh my gosh, shut up. Thank you. Are doing well. And Lemon's dead. That's great. Now, everyone's gonna say, yep, the time immediately goes down fast. Because... When Pokemon dies, for some reason, the timer gets cut by a huge chunk for some stupid fucking reason. dead. Hello? Okay, there we go. <laughs> we were just sitting there. I already have you. I don't need you. Yeah, I got extra large candies from that. Can I get more extra large candies? I got more. Ooh, and rare candy. Okay, good. Yeah, I just need to tackle a couple of these five stars. Oh my. Do I seriously have to go back and click for every fucking time? Oh my god. Now I don't remember why I don't do Pokey Portal shit. Oh my god. Mm. 
Fuck it. I'm going to attempt to see if we can get in Di and Polkia. I can't catch another Polkia, but we I'm going to attempt to see if I can get in it. I don't think I will. I think it'll pretty much say no. It's too many people doing it. Because Pokey and Diogo gets really good shit if you beat them. Only if you beat them. Otherwise you get jack shit. Communicating. 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 Oh shit, I actually got chosen for it. What the fuck? Shit. Now the question is, is will I beat it? That's the real question. And I'm probably just talking to myself the entire time. <laughs> I'm surrounded by anime protagonists, and I'm just... A, a side character. <laughs> sort of like, I mean, I am listening. <laughs> Don't blast. You. Come on, fight. Thank you. Yes, okay. As long as we keep the health behind the fucking timer. That's all that matters. Oh! Someone did sh huge amounts of damage. Who did that? Oh, fuck. That's gonna be great. Oh my gosh, can I fight? Can, can, can I fight and stop sitting here? The timer's going down. Can I please fight? Game. Hello. My God. Thank you. Ow. Oh, ow. Ow. That, that was a lot of damage. Okay, whoever did this huge amount of damage, please do it again. Please. And I'm dead. That's great. That's great. Just mainly target me. Fuck you. Still have a chance, I don't know. Oh my god. Why do you keep targeting me? Fuck it. We're gonna lose anyway. We're gonna I'm gonna fucking lose. It's not fucking well it's it's obvious it's, they fucking don't fix the goddamn timer from being cut short. Whenever a Pokemon dies. Yeah, I know there's that much time left. The game fucking cheats, and... I don't think it was intended for that to happen. And if it is, that's fucking stupid. So it makes it literally fucking impossible to beat. Yep, we lose.
So, you know, let's just stick to five star. I'm just glad that I already... Uh, I actually needed... Okay, so now all I need is get in... Up to level 100, then... Oh, fuck. Then I gotta do a whole bunch of levels for fucking Ogre Pawn. I'll do this one. It's at the same time, I also don't know if I've done this. If I've gotten this Pokemon. I don't remember. I may have. I don't know. Unless if it even lets me fight the Pokemon. We're probably just gonna sit here for a few minutes. To five hours. I want to fight this fucking Pokemon. Let me fight this goddamn Pokemon. Hello, game. What the fuck? Fine, I guess I'll go for the top one. Fuck you. Go ahead, I don't need to do just this stuff. Alright, see you, Chew. At least let me do one of these fucking five star bitches. What the fuck? Why is it all of a sudden, oh yeah, fuck you, you're not getting in any of these raids. Because all the five stars give the really good shit that helps level your Pokemon fast. So what the fuck? I don't want to hit random either, because it most likely won't be a five star. This one. <sighs> this is going to take a while.
fine. This one? Well, this one load. If literally none of them load, I'm gonna be really fucking pissed off. Oh yeah, now Hatch is super big. Let me fix that. You're not allowed to be bigger than me, Hatchet. It's impossible. Oh my god, just let me choose. Let me fucking fight one, for love of fuck. By far the most annoying shit about this game. It's like you have to pay to be online. Yet when when they let you do the online shit, you have to fucking wait and wait, and then it says nope, you can't do it. A fucking piece of shit, Nintendo. What a fucking shocker. If the exit drill doesn't, it, it kicks me out of the exit drill, I'm just gonna leave the fucking online shit and be done. Because this is fucking stupid. Yep, that, no, fuck you. Oh dear god glitches. I could care less about mimic mimicry. I'm being lazy only using peer to peer to cut costs and expense of the player experience. Three star! fucking Pokemon, but I can't do that, not easily, because they want to be fucking lazy or cheap and have a crappy internet service. Finally! God! Wait, steel. Wait, god damn it. Think I'll be fine. Maybe not, I don't know. We'll find out. And I'm surrounded by anime protagonists. Oh, oh, well, surprisingly, even though that was a white type move, it barely did damage. I don't know, it's not like it's a classy. 
Black Jack. Water type. Fucking bitch. <laughs> well, it keeps using super effective moves against uh, Grand Inferno, but it's not really damaging Grand Inferno. Perfect. Really, book? Now I gotta dump all the candies on N. Finding another den. Oh, found another one. Is that a fucking nest? Huh. Yeah, that was a nest. And I squashed the eggs inside of it. No more baby bird Pokemon. Star. I want four to five. Four or five stars, good. Under that, no. I'm gonna ignore. Sadly, you can't tell what what star ray they are. Four. Get an A on them. I will be right back, Danger Noodles. Uh, I gotta take the doggo out.
and I'm back with the Busta and alcohol. Oh, yeah, we're gonna ch challenge of Grand Inferno. Pants. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, the fancy Baja Blast uh, uh, alcohol. Really, Buster? Why did you jump off the bed? You're not going downstairs. So I don't know why I'm doing damage. But yeah, got Pokemon really likes the music. It's not quite too quiet, is it? I can't tell on my end. That's why I have to say that. Okay. Hold on. I'm back. This Pokemon is doing this, but... Grand Inferno finished them all. So now Bus is also watching stream. He does that from time to time. Should be delete for you. Aw. Uh, no, I didn't realize how high level their Pokemon were, so I'm gonna get them all to level 100, then beat the, the last fucker. Cause I almost lost to the Steel fucker. And now you're messing up my blankets. Of course you are. Even though you have a blanket to mess with on top of my blanket. Oh. You're such a pain in the ass. You know I'm gonna have to take you off the bed and fix the bed when you're done, right? Right? You little shit. Making your little fucking nest. Right, you're playing as well. <laughs> then one. Can't really fault you for that. You just furry <laughs> Oh my god. What the hell is that? What are you? Oh, that's the Blitzel. Never mind, I already have you. Wait, do I have you? No. No. Yes, I did. Do not remember if I had that fucker or not? Did I finally get my hands on you? Yes. Oh. 
change Pokemon. I know someone on my team. Good fighting moves. Okay, so I guess it's just Lemon. Alright, let's go Lemon. Also, I love how it's super tiny on the outside on the Pokemon world of these dens, but when you go inside, it's gigantic as all hell. <laughs> I keep giving, they keep giving me the same fuckers. Help me. That's funny. Holy shit, lemon. Yeah, you know, is just basically gonna beat the living shit out of this Rodrio. Finish them all. Oh, I got more candies that time. That's good. This is still going to take so fucking long. But it's a lot faster than waiting, oh, I don't know, 8 to 10 minutes before you can try and get in, in one of the online 5 stars. Did I put my Bramble Jack? Where did I put my Bramble Gas? I think I just switch Uncle Pong's Pass. But true. I have to leave and do that though. <laughs> One thing is gonna suck by Oracle Pond's gonna be probably either same level or lower level than the Put one in here, but that'll be fine. And here we go, Bookworm, your favorite part of the raid. The music. And as I say that, it takes forever to load. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh, 
Do I not have this Pokemon? Okay, I'll try and catch it then. Great. Fuck you. Yeah. Well, damn. I swear, if it puts a shit, oh, my. This is the saddest shield. That was the saddest shield I've ever seen. So we're throwing a regular Pokeball. Let's fuck this guy. I don't. I don't like the character expression I put on my face now. It just looks like I'm gonna do things to this fish. And I don't like it. <laughs> I've got a bunch of extra uh orange candies. Maybe you are though. Uh, shush before. You know, so let's see if I actually did catch this or not. So it'll pop up with something if I didn't. Oh shit, I did not catch it. Lantern, the light Pokemon. It blinds prey with an intense burst of light. With the prey incapacitated, the Pokemon swallows it in a single gulp. Damn. Oh, fuck off. Oh, God damn it, Rhyhorn. Going to murder you. They're trying to look around. Can I do that without you fucking antagonizing me? Oh, God, lag. God damn it, Rhyhorn. Where would I have mercy? <laughs> Can I look around? I'm up there. Okay, so no, I don't see any. Damn it, execute! Shut up, Pokemon. You ran over those four eggs. Well, if you think about it, Bookworm, I did one way you can call an abortion. See any more this way, so let's go. We're here. Ah, I see one right there. At uh, 
Penis O'Clock. I see a raid. Changing your ways. <laughs> Fuck worm. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. Oh, yeah. Catch it. Hopefully, you'll be able to join me stream Friday. Because tomorrow I got another collab with the Um. Where I play Lego Fortnite because it's nothing like regular Fortnite, which is, which is what I hate. But um, I'm gonna play that, and Friday I'm gonna do a stream where the first part is I'm gonna start at six, so I can get Chilla's art out of the way. Oh, like that crash! Try to get a new job. And after that, I'm gonna play. Fuck, what's it called? Give me a moment. The Exit 8. It is a really good horror game. I haven't played it yet. What I've seen, basically, you have to pay attention to everything in the room you're go uh, in the hallway you're going to. Because if you don't turn back when you see something bad, you can never leave. You'll be stuck in an infinite loop. And I think that'll be kind of fun to play with a bunch of people and we can check and call. <laughs> Fuck you. I also have another game in case that game goes by too fast. That, uh, cause I got it uh, early Christmas gift. I also got the Blair Witch game. I have that now. I have no idea if it's good, but I played a demo on Xbox and it was pretty good, so hopefully the rest of the game is good. Okay, so N's almost done. If you can't join, I'll be there. I'm pretty sure Bookhorn will be there. They'll fit. They'll fill in your spot. But joking aside, yeah. It, but yeah, I think that'll be fun. Walking up the steep mountain. What type of 
Nike shoes are you wearing? Grab the item and run. But since you didn't leave, you get burned to death. I just, I just incinerated a child. Wait, it dropped experience candies? It dropped experience candies. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> it dropped fucking experience candies. Where the fuck did it get experience candies? Okay, so I see one right there. And an icy rock. I wonder why I have an icy rock in this biome. Yes. God damn it, it's a three star. Bookworm's about to see my ultimate strategy. Quick balls. Yeah. Thrillodon, the alloy Pokemon. Its metal body is durable, but prone to retaining heat. It vents this heat from the slits in its tail. start exploring the goddamn mountains. So I'm finding a Pokemon I don't have. Instead of just staying on the ground, I just explore the goddamn mountains. Sandshrew, the mouse Pokemon. In the ancient tradition of Alolan festivals, still carried on to this day, is a competition to slide sand shrews across ice as far as one can. Oh my god! Are the sand shrews okay with it? Oh my gosh, fuck off, bookworm. Fun. don't have Gramble. Fuck, I should have caught that fucker. Oh, wow. Oh, well, I'm his baby. I 
hope. <laughs> yeah, I hope so too. One strange shirt is shaped like an igloo. <laughs> Be worse than forcing to fight other Pokemon. <laughs> or be forced to stay in a PC box for all eternity. Snubble, the fairy Pokemon. It, its growls make its opponents uneasy. This laid back Pokemon tends to sleep half the day. Wait, this thing's a fairy? It's not a dog Pokemon, it's a fairy. It's a fucking fairy. <laughs> what fairy looks like this? Yep, it is now. <laughs> it is no longer a dog. It's, it, well, it's not stated as a dog, so it's a fairy. I was unaware there was a dog typing. <laughs> Shut up. It had a normal typing before. Fuck off. Hmm, why are you drinking stumble so much? Fire beats. <laughs> oh shit, I actually did that? Fire equals pink, type equals fairy. Dragon beats. No. Shut, shut the fuck up. Maybe. <laughs> then what does dog beat? Dog beats <laughs> Didn't go so far. My quick ball strategy will win. Beats grass contains hogs are on. Crapping beats the heart. Crack beats the hawk. Steal <laughs> What are you guys doing? Within the quick ball, you son of a bitch. Talk beats normal. God damn it. in the quick ball. Fuck it then. Okay, so all that is super effective. So let's go ahead and just the Pokemon. Actually, I might be good. He's lower level. Okay. Alright. Go Ogre Pond. Okay, I cannot hit it again.
Oh, come on. I just wanted a heart in itself for some reason. Finally! You sack of shit. A Tang, the Iron Claw Pokemon. It adores magnetic minerals, so it pursues nose pass at speeds exceeding 16 miles per hour. Don't even have the baby version. Can I have that one? Yes, I already have a Snover. Which means I already have a Bomb of Snow. God damn it! Fucking cake batter, so dog is strong with ice, water, normal, bug, berry, and coat. Alright, let's go towards. God damn it! I hate it when it puts you at random areas near other Pokemon when you go to fight a Pokemon. It's so fucking annoying. Let's go towards everyone's Hatchet's favorite crab right here. No, don't you like this crab? Anyways. Let's go up here. Find a bad super effective list. of Hatchet's favorite crab is up here. Got grass on that list. No. It's only three stars. Four or higher. Thank you. Fucking right on. Let's, see, let's do a double check and make sure there's no other Pokemon I don't have. Up here. Squeaky against rock, ground, logic, dark, dragon, psychic, poison, fire, and fighting. Okay. Finally! Ah, you had Thunderbolt. Conclusion, dog. <laughs> oh my god. It's not like a Pokemon to all the head. It's like 50 Pokemon types. Jesus Christ. Synchronized 
put the paralysis on the blossom. That's amazing. I think I'm gonna go do my own shrink for a bit. Have a good one, but Alright, see you later, Hatchet. If you're still going when I'm screaming, I'll rage you. a southern thing, Bookworm? Bookworm, you have to tell me if it's a southern thing. I already have this. I don't need that. What is this thing? Biatch? I'm just saying bitch like that. Biatch? I don't know why. For some reason, I just want to say bitch like that sometimes. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna confuse the fuck out of Blue World. <laughs> so everyone's at level 100 except for Ogre Pawn. You know what I probably should do? I should probably change position, put you there. What makes you think I, someone who lives in the North US, would know about some things more than you who is more south than me? In conclusion, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Bookworm, don't you know the North beat the South and the North South had changed their way? So obviously the North knows what to do. Southern things. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. <laughs> I mean, it was a good thing that they North did that, but still. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wrong, am I, Bookworm? Just actually inaccurate. <laughs> Really, some fine things there. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Bookworm. I was historically accurate. Fuck. Oh shit. Well, shit. It's another class. Flash cannon, where you show your other people quick one your private parts. And if you're a man, you jizz. Meteor <laughs> I don't think I went to the top of this one. Yeah. 
What's this down here? Oh, she's doing the box. I'm not wrong because it actually sunk in the way of brain what you're saying. <laughs> You're welcome, bookworm. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, bookworm, what can I say? You're welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a Disney song reference. <laughs> Why I get that enough for my dad? <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh wait, I need you. So I actually do need to fight you. My brains. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Did I get that song stuck in your head now? I'm sorry. Alright, here you go, bookworm. Nah, nah. Here you go, bookworm. Your next favorite song is coming in. Okay, bookworm. Uh, which song is worse to get stuck in your head? Uh, you're welcome or let it go? Oh, it's a fighting type. Well, shit. I thought it was fire. <laughs> That worked anyway. Them. Okay, so I think every after every five uh, raid dens, I'm going to add candies to Ogre Pond. That way it's not. That way I have more. Do one more time to go on raids. Beldum, the Iron Ball Pokemon. All the, all its cells are magnets. It communicates with others of its kind by transmitting. Magnetic forces from its body. So now I'm just waiting for Brooklyn's answer. Oh god. I lagged so hard.
I never got the Porygon. I think it, it destroyed itself or something. Porygon, a virtual Pokemon. Porygon is an artificial Pokemon created using advanced scientific means. It can move freely through cyberspace. So this one's a ghost. And it's a three star. Actually wondering if Pokemon actually heard my question. I wonder if Pokemon actually did it. hear my question. Oh, I didn't. Sorry. Okay. Okay. My question was. Which song is worse to get stuck in your head? Let it go or you're welcome. Oh, what the fuck? Let it go. I saw you. You will die by Ogre Pond's hands, Magnazole. Oh god damn it, focus badge. Why do so many trainers have fucking focus sash? I hate you, Skizor. I hate you. With a burning passion. I now know what must be come out. I know what must come out in order to restore the and store the honor of Ogre Pond. We must send out the chonk. Go on the chonk. Beat the chonk. Chonk beats you. <laughs> Fuck you, Magnazone. No. 
no, this is gonna make my rank go down, not up. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, bitch. What are we? What are we for? I mean, guess out of the plaza blocks. The only reason I fought them is because their thing went black instead of, um... Did I trick you? No, I didn't. Okay, uh... Your grass, so... Grand Inferno. But, um, yeah. So I thought it was a mission. I didn't know it was a fight. Oh, well. Because usually the, the black bar and white text means a mission. But, oh, oh well, I don't give a fuck. How big the shield is. Their entire health bar. <laughs> Alright, Grand Inferno. Finish them all. Good job, Grand Inferno. I'm pretty sure I don't have you. that expression I have. You know, the more I think about it, if humans could get captured by uh, Pokeballs, would the Will the Pokeballs inside give good homes for Pokemon, or uh, and humans, or or just Pokemon, and, and their humans are just trapped in an infinite void of darkness? Bastiodon, the shield Pokemon. Bastiodon live in herds. When assaulted by enemies, they line up side by side and use their hard faces to block paths. Uh, I mean, block attacks. Attacks, not paths. Why did I say paths? What the fuck? Like that point for more raids. Is there anything on the top right here? Well, I don't have you, so yes.
Fuck. Really? Kinchino, the Scarf Pokemon. The oil that seeps from its body is really smooth. For people troubled by bad skin, this oil is an effective treatment. What the fuck? <laughs> I guess that's one way to treat your dry skin. <laughs> But seriously, what the fuck? Okay, let's heal Ogre Pawn. Do I know more raves? God damn it, Pear Dick! be at least a raid in the... Oh! In Alola area. Oh, yep, I was just too far away from the pop-up. Yeah! Then touch the ground. Oh, I missed the TM. Psychic Fangs. Okay, I do have a muck with it. I wasn't sure if I actually caught the muck or not. Five star. First five star we've seen not in the thing, so yeah, let's beat the shit out of us. Let's go, Grand Inferno. Burn this iron bird into some KFC. Cause that's exactly what KFC tastes like. Metal pieces of shit. Now for some reason I'm wanting a chicken, but I don't have chicken at home. Oh well. Go or are you done doing moves? What the fuck? Or am I the only one actually doing high amount of damage? This is gonna take so fucking long. I 
got enough time for it. Let's do this, Grand Inferno. Take the candle off, bro. And beat the shit out of the Skarmory with it. Done. Too fucking easy. Skarmory, the armor bird Pokemon. Since the feathers that it shed, it sheds are thin and sharp, people apparently once used them as swords. What the fuck? Skarmory, Skarmory's feathers, the perfect to uh, toy for children. All right. all right, so let's use all these candies now that I got them. Don't go falling, yes. Level 80 now. Level 81. 82. You know what, fuck it, after I check out what this guy is. I'll just go ahead and head for. Yep, we're just gonna head over for the last fucker. Oh, I never went there. I just flew by. God damn it. Let's also heal my Pokemon first. Change position with you. And you need to change position with you. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but my dog is snoring like a motherfucker back there. My precious baby boy. Come on. Whoa, hold up. My friend here gets him free. Wow, the first out of all three of them to say that. 
Are you sure that's what the rules say? Just charge it to my account. That ought to take care of it. Yeah. That's not... Okay, understood. I'll make an exception. <laughs> Many thanks, my man. That's my champ in the making. Thanks for coming. Let's hit the battle cart real quick. What, we're not even gonna do a trial? We're just gonna fight? I mean, I I'll accept it. Feast your eyes on the majest majesty of the Polar Plaza Battle Corps. Nah, it's basically the exact same battle court as the other plaza. It's just colder. I'm a cold weather kind of guy. Not what you expect from a dragon type user, right? Anyhow, buddy, you came to my elite trial. Not listen to me ramble. So let's hop to it. I call my elite trial terrarium only battles. Your goal is to clobber three of your fellow league clubbers in battle. Simple enough, right? Oh no, <laughs> I defeated one of them already. <laughs> Call it a only for a reason. You can only use Pokemon that meet two conditions. First, they gotta be Pokemon that were caught living wild in the terrarium. Oh fuck you. Second, you gotta be the one who caught them. Must your whole party of Pokemon meet those conditions? No elite trial for you. No masking a lot. But what fun would it be if you just dipped into your vault of beefy Pokemon and cheesed your way through? Your opponents are under the same conditions, so you can't be too mad about it. What do you say, but ready for my elite trial? I'm ready. That's your cue, underlings. Come on out. Uh, I'm ready, let's go. The trial's about skill, but it's chill. Take it at whatever pace you want. <laughs> so much for grinding. <laughs> yeah, I know. Rather strong arms for him catching Pokemon first, no problem. So go on, get out there and chill it up there. Good luck. Everyone give it your best shot. I have to actually take it out. Come on. Did it bother me? Yes. yes. Pokemon, don't need the trial because just come back when you caught yourself in the train. God damn it. Wait. Hold on. I want to see something. I want to see something. First, we're going to take Skarmory over. We're going to take you over and put them there. One thing I wanted to see is because... Where are you? There you are, you motherfucker. Oh, you're a little 50. Never mind. What about you? 75. Okay, so I got this fucker for free as a gift event. But I was in a terrarium, I think, when I got it. So let's see. Damn it! It didn't work. It's almost like you bring into a new people would do that. Not like they had eight previous gens of evidence. Well, that sucks. I guess I can put you back and never use you again. My character stopped freaking out for a moment. You see, now I... Here's the thing. I don't know what was caught. In here and what wasn't. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I want to see if I can get ice and fairy type moves to these two fuckers. Uh, oh, they're on the top. Yep. 
know, Aaron. Okay, you can learn Icy Wind. So let's change... Faint. Dazzling Gleam. Give you that. Rare Charm. Spinner. Okay. Get rid of Pound. And I guess we can give Chinchino Thunderbolt. Let's get rid of that. Because this one, if they enhance their power, then yeah. Okay, so we got our team right now. Wait, I don't meet the condition. They were both. Oh, because Skarmory was caught in a rave. See. I guess saying Momo's gonna message me soon. Now I have to go through all of these again. Is a way to piss me off. Oh, sorry, Chew. I didn't. I'm sorry. Dragon Claw, which is good. It, it was Flash Cannon, so it doesn't first time to where it didn't. Yeah, I know. 
And all right. Give me a moment, there, Shunos. I gotta do something. Just drop the bat. I can't even mention it. Good night. All right. See you later, Chew. Okay, so I, oh, I can do the dark pulse. That's good. Little burst is bad, and hyper beam's not good either. Right. Start doing it. Uh, no, I don't want to teach a stone edge. Damn, I can't teach Darulodon. Good moves. Fuck. This challenge is the worst challenge of all. Oh well. Let's do this. I have two Pokemon. They were both caught in the terrarium. Both Chinchio. Oh, do I have to take all of my Pokemon out? That is so fucking stupid. There! Doesn't meet your goddamn qualifications, you son of a bitch! Hey, good luck to both of us. Fuck you! Oh my god! Yeah, I'm definitely fucked. That's on you. Put that shoot on. Yeah, fuck your bash, yo, Don, bitch. That did not do much. Nor did that. And Granny woke up. Oh, that did damage. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep.
ice spinner, maybe? I don't know. Oh, apparently also steel. <laughs> this is gonna take a while, bookworm. <laughs> I hate this trial. I can see our good against ice. Yeah, fuck your bash yawn, you motherfucking bitch. Just keep chipping away. I fucking want her like gems. And you're a bitch. My Pokemon get healed? No, they don't. That's great. Very cool customer is shift. <laughs> Good thing it's not like different Pokemon each time, because that would piss me real off. Real fucking quick. Effective. Didn't really do much. The, the, the flash cannon did more than a super effective move. Oh, that did damage. Yeah, go to sleep, motherfucker. Sand Slash. Stats do exist, so perhaps your offensive stats are shit. So, or their defensive ones are very good, yeah. Train likes it. Yeah, whatever. Fuck off. No, I don't know the streamer. I use the same type as as her, so like ready for a shock. A good thing now my Pokemon are water type. Here we go, snap, pew pew. Should be fucked in this fight. Okay, for being you. No, just be. I think Magnus is gonna cause me the most trouble, so I'll put that fucker to sleep. Yeah, Magazine was gonna do the most problem. This <laughs> was gonna be the most problematic one. Uh, 
Ice spinner, I guess. Spinner. Okay, so the really dawn is really good for this trial. You went and beat all three of them. Which means this elite trial is elite complete. Yeah, I hated your fucking trial. Alright, my league club assistants, retreat on the dub. Good panel, goodbye, see ya. Ain't that great. No grumbling or nothing. Bunch of sweethearts. Looks like it's finally time for you and me to bet. Guess you're still using that party you put together for my challenge, huh? Go ahead and take a sec to change it up. Unless you want to dive right into battle. Uh, no. I would lose. Got it. No rush on my end. <laughs> Dear God. Oh, wait. I need to get you two first. didn't take me on, bud. Yep. About to whoop your ass. Alright, it's on. I probably should have saved before fighting him, but oh well. <laughs> Here should be good. You know, I was thinking about the look you get when you're in battle. And I realized I've only ever seen you like that from the sidelines. Guess now I know it's like to face you from across the court. Let me be real. I'm counting on you to conquer the whole BB League, but I had to... I mean it. I need you to pull this off. You gotta come through for me. That said, I'm not just gonna roll over and miss out on the fun, so watch out. But no need for us to get all official or anything. Just bow me normally like you would anybody else, Aaron Bray. Here's a hundred percent trace the truth. I'm so psyched I'm practically tingling. So why don't we get this rolling nice and easy? Then shut the fuck up. Let's go, bud. Show me a good time. Don't let me down, bud. No one's 
see me ugly cry. Last you. Ice Fang you. Doesn't really affect N that much either. <laughs> On. Whoa, not all a lot of times can make me eat a super effective hit. Why does Haxorus look so small? He looks so small and tiny. Dragonite. Again, seriously, why is Haxor so teeny tiny? He's so teeny tiny. Uh oh. Center Grand Inferno. So apparently, Haxor is a little under six feet tall. They're supposed to be a dinosaur! Why are they so teeny tiny? He's over seven feet tall. I wish I could change the camera angle. Small dinosaurs exist. But I think it, I don't think it's supposed to represent a small dinosaur. <laughs> its design kind of looks almost like... Uh, I forgot the dinosaur's name, but it's it's closer related to, to T Rex. Woo, that was beautiful. Seems like like it's a soft spot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kingdra. Oh, great. Water type. That's great. You, Kingdra. You ain't taking out Grand Inferno. Kuradon. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What the fuck is Dragon's blood boil. Take control of Kalilodon.
Well, that was easy. That was a one shot. Good job, Eris. Well, that was the first time we actually did one of these and not a single Pokemon died. That's what I'm talking about. Job. <laughs> Man, that was ridiculous. So much fun. I knew inviting you to join the league club was the right move. Almost like you're prepared. You were prepared to fight dragons more than fairies. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess if you can beat me, we better make you a full member of final. What'd you say? Ready to be the real deal? Yep. <laughs> Bless you and your generous heart. Come on, let's get a photo of you for the club rooster. Lacey probably would have, would have wanted a more serious photo. She might not be thrilled, but oh well. I feel like there's one more thing I'm supposed to do. Oh yeah, we gotta give TMs to whoever can beat us Elite Four members. I gotta go grab that. Wait here a sec. It, it took so long it started s uh, snowing. <laughs> Sorry for the hold up. I'm back. That's the PB League Elite Four all beaten. You scored every elite one of us. Here's your award, like I said. Dragon Shear. Oh. A useless thing I will never use. Guess I should have cleaned it. But it's a little dust between friends. <laughs> Man, it's like I blinked and you plowed through the whole BB League. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You know what's next for you, right, bud? You just completely ignored it. <laughs> yeah. You're good enough to beat all the four of us. So you and only you have the right to challenge the, the sitting BB... BB League Champ League Champion Kieran. You really get me waiting. Took you a whole while to beat the Elite Four. Kind of slow for you, isn't it? Nice, Kieran. You really got Aaron Bright on the brain, huh? I could say the same thing about you, Drayton. You sure are putting a lot of effort into helping Aaron Brad out. Who wouldn't, wouldn't help out a new student? Gotta be good to our fellow humans. It's rich coming from you. Whatever you're planning, it's about to come to an end. Aaron Brad. Let's settle who's the strongest between us two once and for all. Fine time. I'm pumped for you. You have to go sign up at the front desk to get your champion match going. No sense waiting around. Let's go. Well, I first gotta heal my goddamn Pokemon. Also, I don't know if you saw, but I had seen something Karen, Karen's transformation to a toxic pegs. <laughs> Aww. Oh, they actually let you leap off that. That's kind of cool. Alright, so let me change my Pokemon. Let's change position. Let's add Lemon to the front. Because hair down, never slide. Hair up, toxic and angry. And ogre pawn second. There we go.
Oh wait, do I have to go somewhere else? Oh uh, yeah, I have to go here. I had to fly through the building to get on top. Don't question it, bookworm. <laughs> Hey yo, Aaron Brat. Ready to sign up for your official match? Aaron Brat, yes? Let me let me get your championship match done up. This will just take a moment. So, Aaron Brat, you said you and Kieran are friends, right? Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Here's the Dreister take. I like Kieran better when when his hair was down. He used to be a quiet, this quiet little guy, trembled like a leaf. He had all the spine of a wimpod. He'd hide it behind Carmine if he said so much as breathe too loud. But I tell you what, when it came to Pokemon battling, I never saw so much joy in anyone, anyone's eyes as in his. But then, out of nowhere, he changed. Now he's relentless, pushes himself, pushes everyone around him. Nothing's good come from, gonna come from of this. Someone's gotta snap him out of it. I tried, but couldn't do it. Guess I've gone soft from the lazy life. So now I guess it falls to you. Sorry, bud. Sorry to keep you waiting. Every everything's ready. Ready about a Kieran, a BB League champion? Oh, I didn't mean hit no. God damn it. Let's come back when you're ready. Oh, I mean, I guess I should say. Understood. Your relationship map will, match will begin soon. Please make sure you are ready. Well, it's all up to you now, Aaron Brat. Me and the other Elite Three will be cheering you for you. This is an official BB League announcement. A championship match is about to begin at the battle court near the entrance to the academy. If you'd like to watch the match, please make your way there. Now I looked pissed off. I look like I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. Kept me waiting. I worked so hard for a chance to show you what I really, I can really do, Air Bright. Put everything into studying and making my Pokemon stronger. Oh God, lag! I crushed the Elite Four, became champion. All that hard work, all of it. All of it was just so that I could beat you right here, right now. I just looked pissed off, like, like I'm telling him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I know I'm making the right choice. You'll understand that soon enough. Got some nerve bring out that ogre now of all time. <laughs> Thunderfang. Oh, okay. Brick break. Oh wait, no, not that. I couldn't get a chance for paralysis. Well, he has totally lost it. Yeah. Nope, that did not do much damage. Oh, fuck. So close. Ah, class. It doesn't ma matter if the tech matches won't work out for you, though. I'll still win. Super fucking 
Oh yeah, it's dragon type. Fuck. How do you look at that? See how hard I train? Not like the kid you bow and get the gummy, huh? Oh fuck, lemon. Oh god, lemon. Lemon needs to retire right now. Well, he's probably just gonna get close to death again. So let's just send you out. I get cordial on you. Well, a Dragonite was gonna kill Lemon. It was a good thing I brought Lemon out. <laughs> Dear God. I'm going to last you. Uh, brick break on you. Oh shit! Well, it's fine. Porygon's gone. <laughs> they lost the Pokemon in, in the outcome. Oh shit. Okay, I want to send out N. Let me see on the left. Swap N. N the Chonk. Any revives? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I can pull up an earthquake. Because in is levitating. I don't know why, because it doesn't affect him. Good, because he might need it, yeah. Ice Fang on you. Oh. Which one's more? Maybe 95. Oh, I don't want to hit him. Poison jab. Burps off. It would just hurt the off. Oh. Oh well. Well, Dragonite's dead. Get that beefy asshole out of here. Go the trunk! Center War. Oh. Well, it's a good thing I have N out here. Because N could defeat Center Roar. Finish off Grim Snarl. Poison Jab. their Grim Snarl. Also, this music slaps, yeah. Just go down already. How are you still standing after I've thrown everything I have at you? Because fuck you. Hydrapple? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Um, she grinded our Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I want to go for an earthquake. I don't need any old me anymore. I've changed. I'll show you when I change again. HP 
changed it to fighting. Okay. Oh, there's more than one dragon in there. Good to know. Okay, so now they're down only one Pokemon, and I still got three. Oh, it was Earth. Oh, oh my god. Oh, the chunk! He toughed it out! He toughed it out! Oh my god! And luck chosen you over me. It's not fair. It's just not fair. Oh my god! The chunk! Love cats. Yeah. Grand Inferno. Oh, I think we have four. I forgot Lemon's still alive. He's just frozen. Go, Grand Inferno. Okay, that did not do much. I give one inning too, you know. Victory will be mine and mine alone. Pickle Beam. Yeah, that didn't do much, but... It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter even if they kill Grand Inferno, Hydrapple's gonna die. <laughs> I win. <laughs> Bitch. Guess who's the new champion now, motherfucker? She lost. Let's go, guys. No. Why? This wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, no, 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 no. No! Way to go, both of you. That was us. Oh, honestly, Crispin. Read a room, would you? Wait, Drayton. Good match, you two. Too bad about the outcome, though, huh? Ex-champion. Okay, so Drayton's an asshole. Look at you, buddy. Way to go. Guess we got a new BB League champion. Cam has got a prize for people like you who can make it all the way to being champion. Here, all yours. A master ball. Oh. I think I'm gonna need that later. Hey, Karen. This may not mean much coming from a guy who couldn't beat you, but I wish you'd go back to having fun with all this. I get that burning desire to win. I mean, who doesn't like winning? Just don't let that desire burn you to a crisp. It's hard to watch. Come on, let's all go in. When next time... Come again? I won't lose. Next time for sure. I'll... I'll win. Next time, I'll win. I can say nothing, say something. Aaron Bray. I, ah. Uh, woof. Him. Him. If we might, um, interrupt. 
Well, first, of course, we want to, want to offer Aaron Bright our congratulations for becoming champion. It really is an amazing achievement. Something like that should be celebrated. But with the way things are now, I'm sorry to say that it does, well, complicate matters. I'm having a bit of a hard time knowing how we ought to proceed. Proceed with what? Well, think about it a moment, would you? If Erebrae is our champion, then that means she's the head of the League Club. But she's an exchange student. What is our long-term plan here if she doesn't stick around? There are so many particulars to sort out. Oh, huh, yeah. And of course, if Kieran rejoins the Elite Four after having lost rank of champion, that would have pushed Crispin out of our ranks. What? Wait, me? That's bad, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I wasn't watching the screen when you fought that steel before she cute. <laughs> I'd like to hear from Kieran himself what he'd like to do next. Damn, bye bye, Crispin. Kieran. This is an announcement for the following students BB League cha Champion Kieran. Top Elite Four member Drayton, Carmine Cla of Class 3 2, Aaron Bright, our exchange student, Miss Briar, and some guests would like to see you. Please proceed to Classroom 1 4 as soon as possible. What the? <laughs> what would that be? What could that be about? Now's really not the time. BB League Champion Kieran. Huh. They're gonna need to update that. You, Drayton. Drayton, could you seriously not right now? It's just not right, and certainly not kind. Well, we shouldn't leave Miss Briar hanging, or we'll never hear the end of it. Go on ahead, Aaron Bright. We'll meet you there. Just be an absentee champion. I'll make sure Kieran comes too. You don't forgot to carry. So all my Pokemon are dead. Yeah. Let me heal all my Pokemon. Oh, they're dead. That's right. I tried to use a full potion on the dead. I didn't lose the champion fight. BB League champion. Oh yeah, I gotta go here. Now we gotta talk to a hot teacher. That people like to bang for some reason. Here we are, Miss B. Thank you all for coming. I'm pleased to inform you that some very special guests are here to see you today. They left for a tour of the school mere minutes ago, but I believe they'll return soon enough. In the meantime, I'll fill you all in the situation. Please have a seat. Don't mind if I do. These knees are cranking. Oh, please. You're not old enough for that yet. Ah, Aaron 
Bring back. I've heard you were busy battling your way at the ba BB League. But I thank you. You'd make it so as far as champion. What a dazzling accomplishment. Thank you so much. Sorry, Miss Bly. But could we leave all that for an another time? What's this thing you wanted to tell us about? My apologies. That was insensitive of me. Let me get straight to the topic, then. I want all of you here to join me on an expedition to the secluded and mysterious Area Zero. Area Zero? That's the place in Paldea you wanted to visit, right? You got permission? My main goals are to investigate the terrestrial phenomenon and to gather samples of the crystals present in the crater. But to be honest, I also have one more ambition for this trip. I was hoping that we could find Therapagos, the legendary Pokemon slumbering in Area Zero. Therapagos, a legendary Pokemon? A rather exciting idea, isn't it? Oh look, another uh, person people want to bang. Oh, another one too. There you are, Gita. I was just getting the kids up to speed. I do apologize for my tardiness. Okay. Hmm? Champion Aaron Bright, I certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Ah, of course, you must be participating in the student exchange program. Aaron Bright just got crowned our new BB League champion, too. Your talent is as brilliant as always, I see. Truly a wonderful thing. If you'll be going along, then I suppose that bodes well. Is it all right? Oh, all right, if I explain the situation to the children, Briar. By all means. First, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gita. I am the chairwoman of the Pokemon League in Paldea. More than a decade ago, the Pokemon League provided support for research on Area Zero, the great crater at the at the center of Paldea. Once that our, once that research was complete, we shifted our duties to monitoring and managing the area. Area Zero is full of mysteries and also danger. Generally speaking, the area is off limits, even for research. That being said. Recent, we've had to comfort the possibility that dangerous Pokemon could escape the area. That's a clear need for further research, and quickly. But at our Pokemon League, we've had trouble finding capable personnel, not to mention time to study Area Zero. So, you reach out to me, as I've been requesting access for the area for quite some time now. I apologize that we not we are not better equipped to deal with this ourselves. Blueberry Academy has a wealth of highly skilled trainers with well-trained Pokemon. And with champion Aaron Bright also on the team, I'd know I'd know that I could safely initiate a new expedition. Oh, I think I popped in on Glacial Stream at this point in her playthrough. Oh. This is entirely voluntary. Terry, of course, but it would be very reassuring to have you with us. What do you say? Will you join our little team as we explore Area Zero? I'm in. Splendid. Well said, Champion Aaron Brat. Um, well, I think it's decided that I'm going. Your support will be very useful as always, Carmine. Appreciate having you on board. Sir. But I'll pass on this one. Lee's club's a whole mess right now. We need to step at my steady hand on the wheel here. <coughs> sure. You just can't be bothered to travel all the way to Paldea, can you? <laughs> Guilty. I'm curious what our mighty ex champion is thinking, though. I'm going. There's a legendary Pokemon there. 
I want to find it and catch it. This time, I won't let this chance go. Oh dear God, you're still holding on to that terrible mentality. Interesting. Then it's decided. It's too bad that Drinton won't be joining us. But it seems the team will consist of Carmine, Kieran, Aaron Bright, and myself. You have my thanks for your help on this matter. Look forward to great finds that you will, no doubt, bring back. Now I'm kind of wondering how bad Kieran would be once I immediately throw a master ball at the Tarapagos. Oh. I'm grateful for the opportunity, Kita. Leave it to me. My dream of exploring Area Zero is finally becoming a reality. Now, time to prepare. Let's meet by the bridge at the Academy entrance as soon as we're ready. Been a while, Champion Aaron Brad. Hey, kiddo. Rika's here, too, at your service. Not gonna lie, I never dreamed we'd be running into you. I see that you're putting your skills to good use and living up to your title as Paldea Champion. Even while abroad. That's what champions do. Indeed, I'll expect nothing less from a talented trainer such as yourself. Yeah, definitely got talent. Lots of talent. But not enough to get you off the hook. You went to, into the Great Crater without the League's permission, didn't you? Don't think you're not going to get a scolding for, for that. That's what champions do. <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? You can't just go breaking rules willy nilly. <laughs> uh -oh, we pissed off mommy. Bookworm. Calm down, Rika. No harm come came to her after all. <laughs> and besides. We have a good reason to believe that all Paldea would have been at risk if Champion Aaron Bright here hadn't ventured into Area Zero. Well, yeah. I mean, that's true, but... Fine, I'll let you off the hook this one time. You better thank the boss for stepping in. Don't think poorly of Rika. She's just worried for you. Now that Champion Aaron Bright... This time you'll be heading to Area Zero with official league permission. Only a handful, handful of po people know about the incident involving the time machine. However, taking into account the dangers of Area Zero, I have elected to inform Miss Briar of what happened, obfuscating certain details. Speaking of boss, didn't you say you had something to give to that Briar person? Yes. Yes, I did. I'd forgotten about that. Oh, why did my model freak out? What the fuck? Champion Aaron Bright, would you be so kind as to take this for me? The Indigo Disc. Series Disc with the Indigo Shine to it, given to you by the, the top champion. It seems to be tied to Area Zero. I'm the top champion. What the fuck you mean? She's a bottom. Not a top. <laughs> what is that? Anyway, a TM or something? It is a disc that was sent by an Area Zero researcher to an investor, so, investor some time ago. I had my investigation team look into it. It is certainly not a TM, nor is it a mere tool. 
are storing data. I honestly have no idea as its true purpose, but I assume it has to do with Area Zero. I might as well ask you to investigate the purpose of this disc while you're there. She what? I was half listening and I only heard she's a bottom, not a top. <laughs> Who are we talking about? Gita. They they called the game called her the top champion, so I said she's a bottom, not a top. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, she's there, huh? Does she want to pick up up some potato salad on the way back, too? I do ask that you return the disc for, to me if you end up not finding a use for it. There's still much we do not know about Area Zero. I know you've already been to its depths, but please exercise some caution while dealing with the environment in Pokemon there. As a champion, it falls on you to protect and guide those accompanying you. Wish I could go with you, kiddo, but I've got my own work to do. Do your best down there. Don't push yourself too hard, you hear? Now please, excuse us. Did I break Bookworm? With that, uh, uh, she's a, a bottom, not a top. Only a little. <laughs> here I mean I guess I can go there oh yeah not everyone can fly on Maridon so yeah they have to take the elevator <laughs> Can't ride my ride? I was about to say, I can sure ride my ride on here. I've not seen anybody being up here. So. No, you bitch! You fucking bitch! God damn it. I was there and no one was there. I somehow flew through the ground on an airplane. Don't question it. 
Where the fuck are you fuckers? Oh, you're over here, you sacks of shit. Are you ready to travel to Area Zero and Brad? Yep. Splendid. We're finally ready to set off then. Are you two feeling alright? Well enough to travel at least? Well, I'm... I'm fine anyway. Yeah, me too. I've had time to calm down. Oh, well that's good. I'm fine. I know what I have to do now. I'll find this legendary Pokemon in Area Zero. No matter what it takes. Okay, can I... Pokemon, can I please punch this child? Or can I kick them in the ocean? Can I do either or of those, please? That's a spirit, Kieran. Alright, then, shall we? We made it. I'm... I'm finally here. Area Zero. The place I've dreamed about for years. Well, it's... this is incredible. Wowzers. <laughs> uh, so you've been here before, right, Aaron Bright? Yeah, we're for friends. Friends, huh? Eek! You scared me. Honestly, you're too big to come papping out like that, er... Whatchamadon? So you came here with Aaron Bratt back then too, huh? Oh, you must be that Pokemon that was reportedly first discovered in Area Zero. I'm very intrigued by the specimen, but alas, that's not we're, what we're here for. We're here to go into the deepest depths of Area Zero. And see what's even deeper. Even deeper. Heath mentioned in his writings that he fell off from the depths to someplace even deeper. Wait, hold on. Doesn't the death implies he was as deep as he could get? Yes, it's quite curious, isn't it? However, Heath also wrote that he was utterly unable to recall how he got down there. If his writings are to be believed, there must be an entire uncharted space below Area Zero. Well, either way... We should start by making for the Zero Lab down in the depths. You take lead, Aaron Bray. Oh, they're all here. Oh, they disappeared. Okay. Boom. <laughs> oh, 
Oh god. Okay, so I passed the zero lab. Unless that's the zero lab down there I'm talking about. Let's see if they're by this door. Yep, this is it. <laughs> This place is insane. Here reminds me of the crystal pool. This is a zero lab, I take it. Structure's exterior matches Gita's description, at least. So this is the deepest point in area zero. Right? Well, yes and no. This is the deepest point that, that the area zero expedition managed to reach long ago. You know, I've been told that the lowest level of this laboratory contains a mysterious room whose purpose isn't entirely unknown. However, here, where I want to go is even deeper than that. So you're saying we should head inside this zero lab? Gate's closed, though. Huh? Oh, you're right. What do we do now, Aaron Brat? You've been here before, right? Use this panel. My ass is... This feels like a spy movie or something. Way cool. What? I didn't say anything. Well then. Can we count on you to unlock the gate, Aaron Bright? Do I have to do some sort of fucking puzzle? Because I am totally an expert with puzzles. Right, Bookworm? I get zero lab? Yes. Access revoked due to prolonged inactivity. Interest locked. What's the matter? Something wrong with it? It opened before, though, right? Is there some extra step we're missing? There were four locks before, and... I see, so last time you went, you went through a series of steps to unlock the gate, and the professor was also there to guide you from the inside. Indigo disc detected. Indigo disc detected. Huh? It's talking! Insert indigo disc for greater access privileges. Insert indigo disc. Relax, it's just one of those computerized voices. It's not any different than a TM machine. Indigo disc. What could it mean by that? Oh, Gita gave you a mysterious item before we departed, did, did she? You think that's it? Ooh, how fun! Go on, Aaron Brat. Do it. You have my permission. I don't need your permission to do anything, bitch. Insert indigo disc. Indigo disc confirmed. Zero lab elevator redirected to area zero under depths. Look that, it opened. Let's head on in. Okay, wait a minute, now I'm kind of mad, because in the first DLC, they didn't give you a fucking Master Ball, like Castle Legendaries. But in the second part, they do. What the fuck? Way too dark in here. I just smacked my head on, on something. That's cause you're, you're just running around, without any idea where you're going. Wow, Kiki. 
Sounds like someone's finally breaking out of their funk, hmm? Shut it. Where is Miss Bry anyway? She's busy rummaging through, like, a whole stack of documents over there. Aren't there someone's private photos and stuff? Uh, aren't there someone's private photos and stuff? We probably shouldn't be looking at all that. Huh. You're awfully considerate all of a sudden. Miss Pryor, look, an elevator. Maybe it can take us further down? You wanted to go down, right? Down, you say? Oh my, did you use this elevator last time to reach the mysterious room I mentioned earlier? Sure did. How exciting. Well, I've got no time to waste. Let's go down. I honestly don't remember if we used elevator or not. Now, the only question is, is there going to be more than just Rapagos down here? Oh, wonderful. This elevator just keeps going further and further down. <laughs> Carmine. That's what elevators do. You know, it's, it's moving pretty fast, actually. It almost feels like I'm floating. Hey, everyone. That panel we used to unlock the gate. Didn't it say something about where the elevator goes? Now that you mentioned it, yeah, something about an elevator being right redirected, right? As far as I know, there's only one elevator inside the Zero Lab. So the panel must be referring to the elevator we're currently inside. So, where exactly is this thing taking us? <laughs> where indeed? <laughs> she doesn't even know. <laughs> We're just going somewhere we don't even know. We're going to hell. <laughs> We're about to fight Satan. The, the win back our soul. Oh my. Oh my goodness! So, so what? Are we under Area Zero or something? Yes, according to my data, our current position is far deeper than we... than where we last were. Could the elevator have taken us even further down than its previous destination? Man, Air Zero was already a lot to take in. I don't think anything is going to surprise me at this point, no matter what we run into. H hey. What's all uh, this stuff? Oh! What are these desks doing down here? Oh my. Oh my, this is... This is a report written by the esteemed Professor Toro. A massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero, and there slumbers Tropicos, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Its body has become crystal, protecting it from hostile outsiders. It appears that losing it will take some time. In, the ca in this cavern, I have witnessed the terrestrial phenomenon occurring in a way I've never seen above ground. Terrestrialization that appears to hold power to every known type. I have dubbed this terror type the Stellar Type for now. Could Tropico's influence be at play? Tropico's is the hidden treasure of Area Zero? And is slumbering in the form of a crystal? And what is this about a stellar type? Brilliant! Absolutely marvelous! To think there was so much that he didn't write about! These documents are a veritable treasure trove, and we've only just begun our expedition! I don't know how she gets so excited in a bizarre place like this. Legendary Pokemon Trapkos. 
That's the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Come on, let's hurry up and go further in. I still haven't gotten my fill of these documents, but okay, let's go. It would be best to discover the truth with our own eyes, after all. Let's keep moving. Stay on guard, everyone. And again, I'm by myself. Which is a good thing, because if there's a Pokemon I don't have... What the fuck? What's that? If I don't have, I can catch him. Oh. What is this? It's like a crystal trying to be a flower. It's completely blocked up the path. Yeah, we're not going any further from with this in the way. Hey, what about Watch My Dawn? That book when you ride on. Didn't it smash through? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, please. Please hold on. This is quite likely a manifestation of pure terrestrial energy. We have no idea what might happen if we try to destroy it with brute force. Okay, so what do we do then? Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> there are Pokemon all the way down here? What's going on with this one? It seems to be charged with some kind of strange energy. Hey, get back! You know you're no good in, in a battle, Miss Briar. Kick, Kiki, no, Aaron Bright. You should t handle this. Hi. Laura. Holy shit. It is every type. What on earth is that energy? It, it couldn't be. Terrestrialize. Earthquake. You think you're the only one who can turn into crystals? I can turn into crystals too. I now have the earth on my head. Fuck you. So cool, yeah. Now, the real question is, is can I catch it now? No. <laughs> That was easy. What's that terror type? What terror type is lemon again? Ground. As far as I'm rem remembering. Good work, Aaron Brett. Uh, okay. Well, it disappeared. Did it come knocking out that sparkling Pokemon? Make the crystal flower disappear? I was wondering what that the mushroom was. That was half of the earth. Just like in that report that we found earlier. What we were wit just wit witnessed was a Pokemon wielding the powers of each and every type. That means it must have the stellar Terra type. Uh oh. <laughs> eh, so what's all that mean? Wait. Was that supposed to be the so-called hidden treasure we're looking for? I can't say for certain, but no, I don't think so. 
Professor Notes said the hidden treasure of Area Zero is slumbering in crystal form. The Glamour you just fought off doesn't fully fit the description, so I don't think it's the Pokemon the Professor called Therapagos. Well, there's only one way to know if it is a hidden treasure or not, is to keep going. Come on. I want to punt this child. Can I just punt him into the wall so he gets brain damage? To see something. I wonder if everything here has a Stella Terra type. So I'm just gonna catch this fucker. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna catch him. Then we're gonna check their Terra type. Boxes. Check summary. No, you have a rock tear type. You're worthless to catch. So far, the only Pokemon down here are Pokemon I've already caught. Thank you, Lemon. Find another one that's going to fix it. Blah, blah, blah. So now I need to find. Ah, you're up there. Thank you, Lemon. Surprise, bitch. I came to whoop your ass. Power of women, you will die. Dragon versus dragon. Who will win? Can't defeat the lemon. God damn it. So, kaboom. You're welcome. Good job, Aaron Brat. The crystal thing is gone now.
backpack was called Mariadon, right? Boy, you can really jump. Well, I'll roll. Let's keep on moving. You didn't need to have a special cutscene for that, but okay. Whatever. So it's either up there, or it's over here. Oh, no, it's over here. Bookworm. We're about to do it. Ground Dragon versus Ground Dragon. Or a robot version of it. Oh my gosh, it's Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla. Yes. Do this. I'll show the power of Godzilla. I guess. <laughs> Good job, Lemon. Hey, Aaron Bright, path opened up. Sorry, we have you doing all the hard, all the work. We really appreciate it, Aaron Brad. Now then, it appears the terrestrial energy around us is growing more dense the farther down we go. Come on, we've no time to lose. It's probably rules a third, which means I need. Oh wait, I just finished rules a third. Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up. I can count. healing items. I wonder why there's so many healing items down here. Hmm. Oh yeah, 
This is definitely the end. Oh shit, I thought I saw a Pokemon, but no, it's a fucking carbink. Hello, Garnacle. And uh, the bottom. Yeah, that's definitely the end. Okay, Kiki, your turn to come over and bright. Maybe she'd rather have you do it. Quit your babbling and just do it. Hey, the path opened up. We can keep going. Kiki, is there something you want to say to Aaron Brad? No, not really. Just feels like we're all relying a bit too much on her as all. We should keep going. It's the job of a champion. You're treated like a bitch. Gah, so stubborn. <laughs> You two are simply dazzling, as always. Just so you know, we were also fending off a Pokemon while you were away. So me and my team are just about spent. This is just all I got left, so if something happens, you better save me. You're on your own, motherfucker. Terrible. I think it's reacting to something. Huh? You're right, mine is too. I'm picking up a truly astounding level of terrestrial energy. It seems to be coming from in there. Are we finally at the finish line? The hidden treasure. Hey, where do you think you're going? Ooh. I can't wait another second. The truth behind the velvet book is so close now. 
What? Not you two. Those two, sometimes, I swear. Well, I'm guessing both, uh, Karen's party gets beaten the fuck up by its rapper ghost. What is this place? The fives here are on a totally different level. The hidden treasure. Where is it? There, Kieran. Up ahead. There's something among those pillars. Stones, the hidden treasure. Give me a moment. I just need to check something. If I can't get the hidden treasure of Area Zero, I, if I, I can, I, I can finally beat Aaron Bragg. Kiki, you're still going on about that nonsense. Shut it, sis. Aaron Bragg has everything I've ever wanted. She's got strong Pokemon. She can go anywhere she wants. She can be friends with anyone. I loved Ogre Pond since forever ago. But even Ogre Pond chose her over me. But Kiki, you did your best too. Even you, sis. You were always... You were being all nasty toward her at first. But then, boom! You were like best friends in no time. I... well... I've got nothing. I worked so hard, and for what? I still lost in the end. Welcome to America. This, this is all I have left now. Found it. This crystal is definitely what we're looking for. Go on, Karen. Well, with everything you've got, show us the hidden treasure of Area Zero. God damn it, Briar. You're not helping. Oh, cutscene. Book corner right here. There's a cutscene. There's no doubt in it. This crystal must be a Tropicos. my Pokeball forever. No! You're mine! <laughs> wow, Kieran. Fucking jackass. That was Tropicos. You caught it, right? Finally. Very well done, Kieran. The fact that you brought along a Master Ball tells me you were well prepared for this. Now I can study Tropicos whenever I want. But there's no time for like the present. Think you can give us a little demonstration of Tropicos' power right now? Well, you heard her, Aaron Brat. I'm so itching to see what Tropicos can do. Get ready so we can stop. Is he gonna be abusive towards Tropicos if I beat him? Well, oh well, I'm gonna beat his ass. Are you ready? Yep. All right, let's get in position. 
I'm about to whoop your ass. I hope you brace yourself. This time I def beat you in a fright. Oh, is he only gonna use Rapaga? Oh, this is gonna be real easy then. Go, Tropicos. Show Aaron Brett what you made of. Earthquake. So this is ten treasures too full. What's this? With this, I can win for sure. Finish the story and fight next up. Not very effective. Oh fuck you! Liquidation. Oh, what's the matter? Is that super effective? Because the powder should be far greater than this. Could it be we're missing something? Yeah, the right trainer. And you lose. Mm -hmm. If I just had Trapicos, if I had a hidden treasure of Aaron Zero, it, it would make me stronger. I thought it would let me beat Aaron Brat. Kinky, that's enough. It's time to stop this. No, something's not right. Its virtual energy output is far too low. Not to mention the fact that it looks different from the illustration in the, in the Violet book. So Trapicos isn't the hidden treasure of Area Zero? No, I'm sure it is. We must be missing something. A way to transform it into the treasure. Of course. Tra Trapicos is made of terrestrial energy. Kieran, you must terrestrialize Trapicos in th this instant. If my hunch is correct, Trapicos will resonate with the energy from your terror orb. And hidden treasure will finally... Reveal its true brilliance. That's gonna lead to something bad. Get. Yeah. I knew it. The pilot book was right. Traficos is in. It's fully awakened form. This is the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Things are getting out of hand, Kiki. You should return Trapicos to into its ball. I okay. Come back, Trapicos. Broken Master Ball. Huh? And we'll go back inside. What? Why? Because you pissed it off. Right, my Pokemon are probably going to be healed. It's 
energy output is going haywire. We're all in serious danger if we don't get our control. Sorry, kids, but please, you need to stop Tropicos. Come on, Geeky. You need to do something, too. We've got to get Tropicos under control. No, this is supposed to happen. This is all my fault. Oh, thanks for the healing. Can I heal? Give him more. Four sword use. <laughs> it looks like I just tossed it at Lennon. Use it yourself. <laughs> Oh damn, Finisher did not take too well. He was Macha Gacha. That did not do much. And energy drain. See if better to reduce damage in it, his trust rising your Pokemon might help. And I can't terrorize it, charge my first. You have to do my yeah, energy, whatever. Thunderfang! Okay, Sinistro may be in danger. Oh, sweet. I got healing too. Rage power. In the center of attention. Well, that was stupid. Because now you're going to die. You got this. Oh no, it's just it's knocked down. This isn't good. It's just too strong. Now's your chance. Use your turret size Pokemon to strike back. Earthquake, motherfucker. You think you can take down the power of lemon? Yeah. One is gonna beat your ass again. Fuck yeah, Lemon. Oh, fuck you. And absorb terrestrial energy? Oh, you fucking dick. <laughs> Another bear of such strength. Did you use terrestrial sword, sword to do so? You need to get in there and battle, Kiki. Ambright is doing all the work. Alright, it's no good. I'm useless. Liquidation. Oh. My men could use the help. Liquidation. Inferno! Now I am bright. Pressurize your Pokemon so it shines once more. Flame for a motherfucker. Yeah, 
Fuck you. And yet again, surely you can't keep doing it over and over, though. Kiki, everybody's in trouble. You need to help her. Not really. I only lost one Pokemon. Okay. But I can't. I can't help anyone. Come on, Karen. Okay, I don't have about two. Honestly, better late than never, I guess. So if you need to paint this whole mess up. Is gonna die. Yep. 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 Go the chong. Oh shit! Sorry, Kieran, I may hurt your Pokemon. Jesus! He almost killed the Chonk! I didn't mean to hurt your Pokemon, Kieran, I'm sorry. Fuck you, Trap Ghost. Looks like I can't absorb any more energy. Or put up another barrier. Time to attack. Time to end this, E2. You have my permission to go all out. Shut the fuck up, Carmine. Poison jam, motherfucker. Yeah, the chong. Okay, we're fucked. Both our Pokemon are gonna die. <laughs> Come on, 
Oh wait, no, mine lived. Oh, and you sent out Dragon Knight. Oh, he still has one HP? That is some bullshit. Boom, bitch. Maybe we'll go inside a ball now. I know I'm counting you in, Bright. You got this. Is it over? Is everyone okay? We're fine, don't worry. Oh, thank goodness. What a relief. Let my exception lead you all into a very dangerous situation. It's simply inexcusable. I'm so sorry, everyone. You should be. You're completely fixated on this terrestrial stuff. You gotta keep your assessiveness in check. Yes, you're absolutely right. I I messed up too. I looked up to Aaron Bright for so long. I wanted to be like her so so badly. I didn't know what else to be. Well, you gotta cut off your penis first. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I guess I I just don't have it in in me to be like her after all. Finally, finally, I can let it go. Don't sell yourself short. But, but, I just... <laughs> I swear, I've got such a silly little younger brother. You finally let it go. <laughs> what the noises did I make? Oh, you two must have been so scared. But you all shown brilliantly just now. You are truly dazzling. But in the end, our Aaron Bright even managed to catch Terrapagos. So I think we, we can consider our little expedition into Area Zero good and finished. Time to head back to Blueberry Academy. <laughs> Gotta stop making that fucking noise. Yeah. I need help. I need to get in touch with Gita. No scratch. I, I need to do... Oh, wait. Hey, Aaron Bright. Look, look, I know it caused a lot of trouble for the league club and everyone. I want to give everybody a proper apology. Who knew Aaron Bright? So, I'm sorry. And, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is... I want to make things right. So do you think... We could start over from zero and be friends again? Hey! We're gonna leave you two behind if you don't hurry up.
I finished the DLC! Fuck yeah! Now we just gotta wait for the credits. Pokemon, are you even still here? I can't tell if you are or not. You haven't said anything in a long while. Now we're just staring at names. Got it. Holy shit, the news is by Toy Fox? Aww. That's cute. Now we probably got after credit epilogue. 
This is an announcement for the following student. Aaron Bright from Yuva Academy. Miss Pryor would like to see you in Classroom 1-4. She has important news to share with you regarding the terrestrial phenomenon. see you. We've grown rest and recovered from after our big adventure down in the under depths. Yep. Oh, youth. Really is an enviable thing. I still... I'm still feeling all wrung out despite having been back for a while now. But on, on to why I called you here. Since our return, I've been writing up everything we discovered on our expedition. Honestly, I hardly slept. I have obtained Gita's permission to turn it all into a book. But don't worry, I made sure to skip a few details and omit the, the names of those involved. So, Viola. Viola. Uh, a proof copy of the book, freshly delivered from my publisher, just for you. I, I behaved recklessly in the other desk. I don't know what I would have done if it weren't for you. You truly des deserve a copy of this book. I just hope it's sufficient as a, an apology. Ah, but there was something else I needed to check with you. Would you mind showing me your terror orb, Aaron Bright? Hmm. I thought as much. It's behaving just like Karen's and Carmine's orbs. I think it might be be because your orbs were directly exposed to energy from Terrapagos. Karen and Carmine sa say that ever since Down the Dust, they've been able to terrestrialize their Pokemon without charging their terror orbs. Actually, there's one more piece of news I should share with you related to those deepest depths. You know the terrarium core that hangs from the ceiling of the terrarium? Well, until now, I've been keeping it topped up with a mixture of Paldean soil and water from the crystal pool in Kitagami. S that's how we've been able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon on our economy grounds. But the other day, I tried adding crystals I collected from the undress to the mix, and it caused the properties of, of the core to change. The result? Pokemon's shiny and rainbow colors have started appearing all over the, the, the terrarium. And they have the stellar terror type. Thanks to this, my research into the terrestrial phenomenon is shining brighter than ever. Boost the moves, but only once per move type. After using a move, no other moves of that same type will get, boot, get, get the boost. Terror rate battles, all moves will be boosted without limit. And there's one last thing. A man in a blue suit was looking for you over by the entrance to the academy. That's all I have to report for now. Thanks for setting aside some time to chat. I want to pay a visit to my publisher, so I'll leave you to it. Next time we meet, I'll ask you for a good long look at Terrapagos. Till then. Here, let me finish this shit up. Did you see the entrance? I think it was the entrance. I need to pay attention when I read. <laughs> Can't remind right on here. Oh, well, that's great. I don't think that would be down there. What the fuck? Did they miss any entrance? Oh, is it you? Oh, would you like to cut up you, Jib? Must be the one everyone's talking about. You're a Paldean Exchange student. And Brett. And, or my name is not Snacksworth. Yes, indeed. Call me Snacksworth. I do love to see young students putting some real effort into their self-improvement. Especially the kids who really give their all for the, the old BBQs. I reward them with snacks. These snacks are made are special treats. Made just to taste of certain Pokemon. When they snacks in hand, you may find yourself running into quite spectacular Pokemon. 
So come give all snacks worth the latest whenever you've been hard at work for those BBQs. I see you turn away. These BBQs are not gonna break. Oh heavens, Betsy, you've gone and completed ten solo quests. Give yourself one of my special snacks there, break. Take the Verizon treat. Oh That's Verizon treat. No Verizon frontly rare, not that one. Not your run of the mill Pokemon. Speaking of Verizon, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger fella. I tell you no lies. I simply came across Verizon resting among the trees one day while I sat on one of my adventures around Paldea. And what trees they were. All done in these mysterious patterns like I've never seen. We stayed there for a good while, me and Verizon gazing at one another twixt those fanciful trees. That old Farazan, it didn't run off, just gave me this curious look, you know. So I sat there and told it about my adventures, and it listened with a kindly air the whole time. It loves that snack you have there, so you might just have a shot at me in it too. Run to old Farazan, you'll be sure to give it my best. Let's see, it's a Tony solo quest. Cabalion. Okay. Okay, so this is how we get the legendaries. That there's a Capalion treat. You know, Capalion, friendly rare, that one. Not your run of the mill Pokemon. Speaking of Capalion, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger fella. I was one of, on one of my Pokemon adventures in about there when Capalion just prints on down from a cliff. I was really flummoxed at first when it stopped right before me. Maybe it was just pausing to stare because my face looked so funny. Anyway, that old Capalion started to stroll away, so I followed and led me to the that famed waterfall. I tried to say thanks, but old Capalion just dashed off into the bamboo grove. Cool as you please. It loves that snack you have there. So you might just have a shot me in it too. When old Capalion, make sure you be sure to give it my best. Say if you've been chipping away at those PBQs or not, Aaron Brad. Chuck, so say a bit early for getting my, any of my special snacks. Reckon you could earn one of my special snacks if you did one more quest on your own, or maybe one more group quest. Well, that was group quests, right? They'll start appearing once you attack a whole heap of BBQs with your pals using Union Circle. Or are you just here because you like to hear my old tales about rare and wondrous Pokemon? Yes. Alright then, what Pokemon? Would you like to hear me yammer about? Show me their snack. Oh, I don't want to hear. Do you want to know about hearing one of my tales? No need to be shy. Okay, so this is the fucker I need to go to get legendaries. Okay. Okay. That will be saved for Monday. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time for your next experiment. Let's see if there's anyone to raid. I don't know if Hatch is still streaming or not. Yes, raid. they are. Oh. Shut the fuck up, Twitch. They are.
great. And uh, if Bookworm, if you're still here, the raid words are going to be fish livers make great hair conditioners. Here, hopefully, you're uh, ready because I'm gonna raid in three, two, one. 